In this tutorial, we are continuing with styling, Elementor forms, and file upload buttons and fields. So we have an Elementor form here. If you watched one of my previous videos, I showed you how to stylize, uh, how to style this form, how to style and change the appearance and customize this choose file upload button, uh, the label, and so on. Now let's see what can you do, uh, what should you do if you wanted to change uh, this choose file text or this no file chosen text. Now the workaround for this is a little bit more complicated, but we can do this by simply using CSS without going to the theme, without changing the HTML, uh, JavaScript, PHP, anything. We can do this simply with CSS using before and after pseudo elements. So let's get started. I have my Elementor form here on my page and we have a few simple fields. Uh, again, if you watched my previous videos, you will see that I, I assigned a CSS class to my form called Upload Form. Now, first we will start uh, with adding these custom buttons with custom text and adding a custom label. So we will basically change this choose file and no file chosen text. And then we will hide these default uh, buttons or this default choose file button and the default no file chosen label. So I will go to my CSS. I'm using a custom CSS and JavaScript plugin that I will link to in the description of the video. And uh, let's start by adding a custom button first. And that button can say anything you want. So in order to do this, I will first uh, type my form class. And if you remember, uh, my class was called upload form. Then I will type Elementor field type upload input type will be file. And now we are basically adding a before pseudo element. So I will type before and you can use, you can see this code in a first pin comment uh, below this video so you can just copy, customize it and use it. And here is basically where you add your text. So I will type content and the text that I want to appear in my uh, upload button, let's say something like um, drop or browse files here, for example, or let's just say browse files. That will be my custom text. And then I can add the background color, which will basically be the color for my button. For the purposes of this video, I will just simply put the gray, but you can put any color. You can put the hexa code and so on. Uh, then I will add some padding. You can adjust all of these values later. I will add 10 pixels top and bottom and 15 pixels left and right. I will add a border radius of, let's say, 20 pixels that will make the button rounded. And then I will add color. Color will basically be the color of my text, which I want to be white. Font size would be, let's say 14 pixels. And um, let's say that font family would be, let's use Open Sans for this video. Font weight would be 600 just to make it a little bit more bold and line height I will set to something like 3 em. Em values are basically similar to pixel values but they are relative to the font size. I always prefer to use em values for line height or other uh, properties as well because that means that if you change the font size and you're not using 14 but let's say 20 pixels the line height will adjust accordingly to that font size. Let's click on update and refresh our page. Now you can see that this added basically this browse files button and it will act as a button. So if I click on it, you can see that it opens uh, my file browser basically and it will enable the file upload. Now don't worry about this choose file button because we will uh, remove it or hide it later. And remember that you can always play with these, with these values with the color, with fonts, with paddings and so on. Now let's try to remove this no file chosen uh, or actually before removing it, let's try to adjust and to customize this label. We will do this by adding a, an after pseudo element to this same class here. So I will actually just copy this selector here 
and instead of before I will type after. Content uh, will be basically my new label that can say you haven't chosen any file yet. So this can be actually, let's put this like this, not to confuse our code. So you have not chosen any file yet. This will be our new label. And then again, we can put font size to 14 pixels. And let's click on update, refresh our page. And you can see also that there is no padding uh, on the left side of this label. So I will just adding, uh, I will just add a little bit of the padding on the left side. Let's say 10 pixels. Click on update and refresh the page. And there you go. So now the last thing to do is to hide the label and the button that are there by default. In order to do that, uh, let's just add a few more lines of code. So um, basically I will use this same selector here. And I will simply say that the font size will be zero. This will remove the label that says no file chosen. Uh, by basically creating the text zero pixel size and the last thing that i do is that i want to remove also the button or the, to hide the button and in order to do this i will use the same selector but i will also add a pseudo pseudo element called file selector button this will basically select this default uh, default file upload button from elementor form so i will simply hide that button And let's click on update, refresh our page, and there you go. We've basically created custom button and label, and we've hidden the default ones. So this is basically how you can achieve this simply by using CSS. And uh, don't forget that you can copy the code uh, below this video in the first pin comment, and you can just customize it, play with it uh, as you wish to get your result. That's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.